So now we've managed to find a second pair of pliers. As I, as I mentioned, there is an appropriate tool to do this, but nine times out of 10, you guys are on site and haven't got that special tool. So just on the nulled section of the end of the stem here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this end, hold the needle end and undo this end. Primarily because if you start twisting that, this end, you could bend that needle. So here we go. So just hold that still, twist this around like so. So there's your keeper. There's the nulled section of the of the boss itself. Now the needle's out here. Now look. How easy was that? So now what we're looking for on the needle is a couple of things. One is we're looking for any wear steps in the needle. And there's one right there. So that's where the needle's been going back and forth and got a little step in it. The other thing is too, that we need to look on here to see if there's any grooves or sections out of this particular ball. So remember what I said, young guys that start using these, they tend to squeeze the trigger on. So when they squeeze the trigger on, this is where it cuts a little track straight across the face of that. And these now are married set, believe it or not. So when I replace this needle, there's no point in ringing up last one and saying, oh, is that the help? No, I only need a needle, mate. I don't want to see. They're not trying to upsell to you. What they are doing is selling, selling you a married set. So these come as a kit, and I suggest you maintain them as a kit. So what else have we got in this gun? So there's a, there's a, there's a bit of a nut thing there. And, and what else is there? Well, that bit of a nut thing there is actually a keeper for a little bush. So that little bush is actually the seal that this runs in. Like so, runs in like that. But of course, the head of it runs around that way. I did it that way so you can see that I've got something to hang on to. So it runs that way. So when you put that sealing gland in there, you have to make sure you put it together with lots of Vaseline. Don't care if it's a bit of grease, but lots of Vaseline. So how do I get that one out of there? Well, that's a bit of a quandary, isn't it? That is a segmented nut. So I could use a socket on that. And I would suggest if you can get a socket in there, absolutely use a socket. Because if I start doing this in there, I could damage the thread, the end of this, so that the next poor person can't get it undone. So what I'll do now is I'll get a socket, whack it on there, undo that, and expose the gland. I'll show you how to pop the gland out. 